Hello everybody, this is Alex and this is the Tesla Model Y and we're here to try out the new AutoPark feature. AutoPark was recently introduced for Malaysian Tesla owners through a software OTA update and this feature is included in the Enhanced Autopilot package which costs 16,000 ringgit in Malaysia. So the question is, is the Tesla AutoPark feature any good? And is it accurate and does it inspire confidence? And we're going to compare it against one of the best in class in the business the BMW self-parking feature, and we got the BMW iX2 as a comparison. Besides Auto Park, the Enhanced Autopilot feature brings additional features like Auto Lane Change, Navigate on Autopilot, Dump Summon, a feature that allows you to move the car front and back using your smartphone, and also Actual Smart Summon, or better known as S. Yep, that's Elon Musk's sense of humor. So this car in particular, this is the long range model, it costs 238,000 ringgit, so if you want to add the Enhanced Autopilot feature, which costs 16,000 ringgit, this car will cost you 254,000 ringgit. And yep, that excludes the additional stuff you want to add, like bigger rims, different paint color, and different interior color. To use Autopilot on a Tesla is very easy. You don't need to do anything. As you drive along a parking space, it will start detecting the parking spaces through the front camera. As you can see, it can detect multiple parking lots one go, including parking lots ahead of us. To get the Tesla to park, just select the preferred parking lot on the screen and then tap on start. And it reacts very quickly. It actually feels like an actual person is parking the car for you as it shifts gear between drive and reverse and it changed steering directions almost immediately. And this auto park feature is fully autonomous and you can keep your hands off the steering and just stand by your foot on the brakes in case of emergency. We gave it three tries and the fastest time we got for this parking lot was 36.21 seconds, which is actually very impressive. Next is the BMW iX2, which we think sets the benchmark for self-parking. In the BMW, it doesn't detect as far ahead as a Tesla as it relies mostly on the side cameras to detect the parking spaces. That means you have to drive slowly ahead of the parking lot first before you can auto park. And once we selected the lot, we just press start reverse parking and let the car do the rest. Just like the Tesla, this auto park is also hands-free and foot-free. And the BMW iX2 did it in 34.67 seconds, which is slightly quicker than the Tesla. The difference here is that the BMW uses a combination of cameras and ultrasonic sensors to ensure that the car is parked properly. But take note that you must pass the parking lot first before it can detect the spot. Unlike the Tesla that can only do reverse park, the BMW also supports forward parking, which means the car goes head in into the parking lot. This method is actually quicker than reverse parking. On top of that, if you need help of getting out of the parking lot, the BMW can also help you to reverse out as well, which can be very helpful for people who struggle with complicated parking situations. And as an added bonus, BMW also offers reversing assist, which is pretty cool. Imagine if you drive into a narrow alley and you end up in a dead end. This works like an undo button as it can auto reverse back up to 50 meters. However, this function requires you to control the accelerator and brakes while the car controls the steering to match the original path. It's very magical. Overall, Tesla Auto Park feature is actually very impressive considering the fact that this runs purely on Tesla Vision. If you notice, this car doesn't have any ultrasonic sensors. So it relies on this array of cameras that's located over here, over here, over here, and at the boot. So about six to eight cameras just to navigate the car into the parking lot. And it does it in a very instant manner. And it's just slightly slower than BMW's Auto Park feature, which I believe is the best in class. With such sheer speed and responsiveness, I think this is a feature that I actually want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. But what do you guys think? Would you spend 16,000 ringgit for the Enhanced Autopilot feature, which include Auto Park feature? Let us know in the comment section down below. This is Alex from SwearChange.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you inform our future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye.